Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef, my name's Ross. In today's video we're going to take a look at the Marine Lab Reef Multi-Test Kit from NT Labs. Okay, so like I said, welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to everybody who's newly subscribed, those who have been here for a while, welcome back as well. So, yeah, today's video we're going to take a look at the NT Labs Marine Lab um, Reef Test Kit. Now this video is actually part two of a kind of two-part series of this. Um, in part one, we actually took a look at the um, multi-test kit here. So as you can see, this one does the ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and pH. Um, the second part of it is this second kit here, which does your KH, your magnesium, calcium, and your phosphate. So that's the four tests in this one, four tests in that one, eight tests in total. Yeah, um, really good test kit. I've been actually really impressed with it. We'll go in a minute and show you that. If you haven't already checked out the first video, if you watch that one first, you'll see the first part of the kit. Um, like I say, these are available online to buy. Um, they're £30 each, run about there. You can find them cheaper if you have a look about, but um, I think the cheapest I managed to find them was about £22. So they run about £30 normally, you'll find them, but you can get them a lot cheaper than that. So just have a look about, you will find them elsewhere online. Um, once again, massive thanks to NT Labs for sending me these test kits. Um, like I say, I've used Salifert pH kits, Salifert test kits, you know, all the Salifert ones is what I used before. They've sent me these and I've been really impressed with them. So, yeah, that massive thank you to NT Labs for that. Now, if you do use Salifert, HANA, whoever you use, um, I'd highly recommend having a look at these kits. You know, you can watch this video, see what you think of them. Um, like I say, it's a kind of cheap alternative. So, don't let the price fool you. They are actually really good kits. Um, yeah, so, I'm not going to blabber on anymore. We'll jump into the video and let you take a look at the Reef Molly test kit. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the um, NT Las Marine Lab Reef Molly test kit. Now, this one covers the carbonate hardness, so your alkalinity, your magnesium, calcium and phosphate. Um, 145 tests give or take in this packet here. So, same thing as the, the last one, you know, the instructions are all on the back. Um, looks relatively straightforward to do, so... We'll get the cover off this and um, we'll give it a go. So like the other one, it just slides off and shows you everything that's available in there. So we'll stick this up the back so that we can see where we're going. Um, and we'll open this. Again, I'll apologise in advance for the noise of ripping this paper off, but it needs must. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have in here. So there's a KH pot there. Um, magnesium, calcium. A little drop right there. So let's, let's get out everything that we've got here. So we have three of these little one mil um, syringes. And the droppers. A bottle there. We've got another five mil syringe there. Instructions. Okay, so all right, that makes sense. So it gives you little stickers for the end of the syringe, um, measuring cups, and the test tube lids. So I'll go ahead and put them on just now, and I'll come back to you once I've done that. Okay, so that's me stuck stickers on everything. So as you can see there, um, that's the one for the phosphate, the little test tube there. And then you've got your alkalinity, calcium, magnesium stickers on there. So I'll just set them back where they need to go in there. Also, I can go back in there. That's that. And the kind of the nice thing that I like is on the end of the syringes here. Um, you can see the little stickers for that. So. You know, that's quite good, it means you're never going to get them mixed up as to what you've actually used them for, so I really like that, that's quite a good touch. Okay, so let's do the KH one first. So we'll take this little pot off here, and it says to add 5ml of aquarium water, so we'll do that. Okay, so I'm 
that's me added 5ml of aquarium water in there. Um, then I'll take the cage syringe that we've got here um, and what it says to do, so that's already on there, that's fine. Um, so I've got the KH solution and take one mil of the KH solution. As you can see, I've never actually done these before, so I'll take these lids off. So it wants one mil of this. Now this is one thing that salifert kits are the same. Um, you pull the plunger till it's at the one mil, and you will have an air gap below it, but that's fine. So it then tells you to add drops to here till it goes blue. So that's it, blue there. And keep adding them till it goes green. So I'll try and do this so you guys can see it. Still blue there. Okay, I would say that was green now. And then you keep going till it goes yellow, and then you stop as soon as it goes yellow. So that to me looks yellow anyway, so. I'm going to stop there. Okay, so then it's the same as before. With the Salafelt kit, you just turn that around and read off the nozzle itself. So I'm going to make that 1.7. So 0.17 is 8.3. So that's a KH of 8.3, um, slightly higher than what I was expecting, I don't know if I've maybe done that a bit wrong with the yellow there, but um, it could well be, yeah, I will just need to try that and see, but that's that's what's come up with, so um, again, very similar to the Salafert test kit, it wasn't that different that one, I'm just going to give that a little wipe because it's got a bit of... Um, Solution on the end of it there, so give that a little wipe on the towel. Um, yeah, overall, again, very very similar to Salafert one. Make sure they're done that tight. Um, I'll do the same as before. I'll just get rid of that. <coughs> Give this a little rinse out. And there we go. So that is the KH one done. Now let's try the magnesium. I take that KH syringe and I'll put that back in there since we don't need that anymore. So magnesium one, I think, is very similar. We've got a couple of other um, steps in this one. I'm just going to angle this camera down a bit more for you. Okay, so in this magnesium one here, um, what does it say? Add one mil of aquarium water. So I'll do that just now. One mil in there. Um, doesn't look like a lot at all, it's just a little amount, but one mil in that. Then it's asking for 10 drops of bottle one. So I'll take bottle one and we'll put 10 drops in there. Okay. 
Okay. And then it says bottle two, you put five drops in. Okay. So it's definitely got the pink colour that it says there. So that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing as the other tests. I'll open this bottle up. I managed to rip that somehow, taking it off, but never mind. So, yeah, we'll um, using the magnesium one, obviously. I'll take in up to the 1mm line. And then, same as before. I'm just going to start adding this till it goes a kind of purple colour. So that's purple there. And you just need it to go blue. As soon as it goes blue, you stop. It hasn't actually went blue for me, so looks like that one hasn't worked. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that one, but I know for a fact that my magnesium is not above 1500, so I'm going to try that one again. See what happens with that. So it's asking for one mil of aquarium water. I can do that. Um, 10 drops of solution 1 ok, that's 10 drops of the first one And five drops of the second one. Okay. So we'll go down and take one mil of this solution. And this is using the magnesium on the end there. And start putting this in until it goes purple. Okay, so that's that purple there as you can see. And it says it should go blue, so I'll try and see if we can get it to go blue. Okay, so I would say that was a kind of blue colour there. So that is 0 0.09, which is 13.65 on this scale. Yeah, that's probably about right to be fair. Um, I think that's kind of where we are with that one, so yeah, happy with that.
Okay, so the next one we're going to do is the calcium one. So again, very very similar to the other ones that we've just done there. But it's asking for one mil of water. One mil of water there. Um, and then it says five drops of the first solution. Okay. And then five drops of the second solution. I quite like these boxes, how they're laid out. Everyone's really, really simple. Okay. So that's five drops in there. I'll just make sure this lid's on tight. Okay, so now what we'll do is going to give that a quick shake up in there because it was all clumped up in the one bit. So, as you can see, that's pink like it's supposed to be. So, we'll take the calcium syringe here, open up this bottle, take the lid off this. So it goes purple. Okay, so that's it went purple, and it's pretty much instantly actually went blue. So, yeah. It's went blue there, so it was a very quick one between purple and blue on that. So now I make this 0 0.22, so that's saying that it is 468 calcium. So again, um, slightly higher than what I was getting on the Salford tests, but uh, I might have just went a bit too quick with that one. So again, I don't know if that's. Um, me just going a bit quick with this since it's the first time doing it, but I said I would show you this and be honest, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll put this one away and it just leaves the phosphate test to do last. Calcium one back there and phosphate. So this one's asking for two lots of five mil, so you want ten mil of water for in here in case your math isn't up to scratch. Five. Ten. Okay, um, then it says add ten drops of the first solution. Ten drops of the second solution. Again, I don't know what these solutions are, but 
We're just following the steps here. That one's a very kind of gel consistency for that one. I'm not sure exactly what it is again. But we'll invert this one five times, it says here. And then wait five minutes. So I'll stick that in there, start a timer, and I'll join you again in five minutes' time. Okay, so that's the five minutes up now. Um, Take this out of here now again it looks like there's not much of a colour in it which is probably a good thing but for this one um, you actually have to look top down at it so you know, it might be a bit difficult for me to show you this on camera but I'll do it best as I can um, don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this to be fair Okay, so you just need to take my word for it on this one, but that's 0 0.015 for the phosphates, um, 0 0.03 is a bit darker, so 0 0.015, so that's pretty accurate to what I was actually getting with the Celtic test kits again, so um, yeah, that's that's pretty much, um, you know, part two of this with this test kit done, so I've been pretty pleased with that, you know, some, uh, some discrepancies from that, but you know, I don't know which one's more accurate than the other, to be honest with you. Um, I've used Salifert test kits for a long time now. Um, really like them, but you know, obviously decided that give these a try. And um, to be fair, I'm quite impressed with that. So uh, yeah, um, it's everything put away. It's my dirty water to get changed. So again, all that's left to do is to this little sleeve back on here again. And that is it. So that's the Marine Lab Reef Multi Test Kit from NT Labs. Okay, so there we have it. That was the Reef Multi Test Kit. Um, like I say, again, overall pretty impressed with that. The test Kit works really well, actually. Um, quite simple to use, easy to use, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. So once again, thanks very much to NT Labs for sending me them. Um, do really appreciate that. I've been totally unbiased with this. This is just my opinion of this. Um, you know, that's, that's what I've found with testing them, so, yeah, overall quite happy. Um, if you haven't already, like I say, check out the previous video, you'll see the first part of that, but if you haven't checked out my other videos as well, then then please do. So if you have any comments on the test kits or any comments in general, just put them in the description below and I'll respond to all of them. If you haven't already, if you could like the video or dislike if you don't like it. Um, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I do upload my videos every Sunday at 6 o'clock, so... You should be able to remember that. Now that's UK time. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope everybody's staying safe out there and we'll see you next week. Take care, folks. Bye bye.